Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 10th of 2020. Well, it is titled Semis 147 Supernova Remnant. So what do we see here? Well, this is a supernova remnant and known as Semis 147, or also more popularly known as the Spaghetti Nebula. And by looking at it, you may get the impression as to why it would be called that because of all of the jumbled up strands scattered around this area. Now a supernova occurs when a star explodes. So there are actually two types in this case of supernovae and this is what we would classify as a type 2 supernova which is a massive star at the end of its life. Now from the remnant it can be difficult to tell the difference. One of the reasons we know that this is a type 2 supernova is that there is a neutron star at the center. A neutron star or pulsar is the remnant core of a massive star that is compressed down under tremendous pressure and pushes the entire mass of say the sun a sun's mass down into something the size of a large city. So something only several miles across and that is under extremely dense dense uh, densities and extremely high pressures that it takes to be able to do that. And when that happens, it squeezes all of the material, all of the electrons get squeezed into the nuclei. So you squeeze out all the space within an atom and just have essentially a giant ball of neutrons, we call a neutron star. Now when that collapses down the resulting explosion expels the outer layers out into space and that's what we see as the supernova remnant here in our picture today is those filaments of material that have been expanding out into space for about 40,000 years now. And in fact, we first saw this explode here on Earth. This would have seemed like a very bright star in the sky about 40,000 years ago. And it has taken it that long for that material to travel out the great distances that we see here. And in fact, at the estimated distance, this is about uh, 150 light years across. So what we see here from one end to the other and that is about 150 light years to go from one edge to the other. So that is how far they have expanded, which is a good distance between stars in our part of the galactic neighborhood. So this is material that is then expanding out and it has been enriched in um, enriched in heavier elements. We see some of the glow of hydrogen gas in red here and the blue green of oxygen atoms as well. So we see the energized colors of oxygen where those materials are being excited. And that shows the material as it expands outward into space and it is becoming the seed material for the next generation of stars. So many millions or a billion years from now, this material will have become part of the interstellar medium and will become the material that forms a new generation of stars, much as our sun was formed from generations of previous supernovae, which is why we are all here. The supernovae create many of those very heavy elements that we need in our body for life. Things like oxygen and carbon and iron and other heavier elements that would not exist without these types of these types and other types of explo massive explosions that occur out in space. So all of the atoms within our bodies except for the hydrogen have at least at one point been a part of some kind of massive explosion and we see a remnant of one of those a supernova in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for December the 10th of 2020. It was titled Semis 147 Supernova Remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.